great. Here comes Wonga then. Uh, 1 minute 20. Guess we're going to have at it then. We're not dying today. Yeah, he wants to fucking turn and fight with me. Okay then, guess we're gonna fucking do this then. Five seconds of fuel. Ah, <laughs> move one. Oh my Jesus Christ! And I killed him right at the end of the game. <laughs> I'm taking that as seven kills. Hello, people out there. This is the Ruby Revolution. Welcome back to my channel. Today in War Thunder, we are looking at the Mitsubishi Zero. Uh, this is a Japanese carrier based aircraft uh, from the Second World War, and it's my view they're uh, the most iconic Japanese aircraft of all time. When most people think of uh, Japanese aircraft, they generally think of uh, this one. Uh, now, the Mitsubishi Zero's origins uh, can be traced to 1937 with the requirement by the Imperial Japanese Navy for a new uh, carrier based aircraft. Uh, they had extreme requirements for this aircraft. It needed to have very, very long range. It needed to have very good climb rate, really good top speed, and a really good uh, firepower as well. Um, many Japanese uh, aviation companies said it wasn't possible with the current technology, but Mitsubishi took this on, and uh, the Zero was the result. Uh, the way they managed to do this within one airframe is by making the aircraft extremely light and uh, doing every uh, weight-saving measure they could. Um, to make it work. Uh, they used a, a revolutionary uh, aluminum alloy. Um, they did away with many of the arm protection around the pilot. Um, there was no self sealing fuel tanks and uh, there's no hydraulic uh, control services either on this uh, aircraft. Uh, the result of this was an extremely capable but fragile aircraft. Um, it was very maneuverable, uh, had a really good climb rate, um, really, really good range. And it um, but it was also extremely fragile um, if it was hit. Now, when the Pacific War started in late 1941, uh, the Mitsubishi Zero definitely ruled the roost against the, the American adversaries. Uh, it very much outperformed the Wildcats it was uh, facing, as uh, having a ratio of up to uh, 12 to 1 um, in the kills of uh, the Zero, which was absolutely insane. They just outperformed completely the, the Wildcats. Um, we would try and turn fight with the, with the Zero, which uh, would not work uh, at all in their favor. By 1943 and 1944, the Crown as one of the best fighters uh, in the world was very much snatched away uh, from the Zero uh, by the Americans. They taught the pilots how to take on this aircraft much more effectively using boom zoom type tactics and not to turn fight with the Zero, as well as uh, introducing much more capable aircraft such as uh, the Corsair and uh, the P-38 uh, Lightning, which could outperform the Zero in several areas, especially uh, top speed. Um, the Japanese did try to upgrade the Zero, but however the lack of a suitable engine replacement and just a lack of a general replacement for the uh, Zero um, as the war progressed meant that this was uh, produced all the way up until uh, the end of the war in 1945. Anyway, how does this aircraft perform in a War Thunder? Uh, this is the premium version that I'm looking at today, which is the, the A6M5 Co, which has a battery rating of 4.7. Uh, uh, I like this version over the earlier models of uh, the Zero because it has um, 250 uh, rounds of ammunition for the 20 mils compared to the A6M2's 120 rounds, which means that the have much better ammo capacity and able to get more uh, kills before having to return uh, to the aircraft. Uh, the speed isn't that much of a different, uh, the clay to climb is uh, slightly better, but uh, it's just the fact that it has way more ammo uh, for those uh, 20 mils. Uh, as you'd expect, the Zero turns extremely well. It's one of the best turn fighters uh, in the game. It's also extremely fragile. It sets, gets set on fire uh, so much. Uh, the way to play the Zero is as expect you turn fight with the enemy. You force them into the dogfights um, and try and get on their tails. And it's kind of hilarious to see 
uh, people trying to turn fight uh, with this aircraft. Just don't do it, guys. Don't do it. You'll never win against the, the zero in a turn fight. It's so hilarious to see. That is definitely Ruby's War Thunder tip of the day. Never turn fight with a zero ever period anyway i'm gonna be taking this out in air realistic battle today i really love this aircraft it is one of my favorite aircraft in war thunder it's so fun to play let's get going okay welcome to spain it's very much a mixed bag of what we're up against at this game we have been up tiered as well which is a bit unfortunate let's put her into a uh, 23 degree climb and get the flaps up there we go, and she's uh, still racing. She does climb uh, really well, does uh, the Zero, and uh, it can wet for quite a long time as well before uh, overheating the engine, which is pretty nice as well if you want to get to uh, altitude at the start of the game or you need some extra engine power um, later on. Uh, one thing there the Zero isn't very good at is uh, taking on bombers, the lack of extra uh, like guns, uh, the lack of 20 mils, readers hamper it. And the lack of ammunition as well. It's only got 250 rounds uh, for those cannons. Really me means it's not very suited. We're going to have to say B25s or B17s. Leave those to the more heavier fighters, such as the BF109. Or if there's any, is there any fucker wolves in this game? No, there isn't. Oh, there's one. The fucker wolf 190s as well. They're much su better suited to uh, taking on those uh, those bombers. We are definitely a uh, anti-fighter aircraft and that is what we're going to be doing in this game okay I've got someone down here I, I, I can't see like anybody close by so we're just going to go and investigate what this is it's like it's flying away though It's another A26. Oh, we have a Wyvern. Now, we definitely can't take the, beat the Wyvern in top speed, but if we can get on his 6, we've got a very good chance of taking him out. Oh, he's got the other 0. Oh, that's a shame. Let's try and see if we can get the jump on him. Still 5 kilometers away. Hopefully we can, the, the TR-154 will first force him to turn, and then we can get on him from there. If it forces him into a turn fight with him, oh, he's coming right at us. They can turn TR-154. I oh, always got him, okay. Ooh, Yak-3. Interesting. Turn fighter versus turn fighter. However, this definitely does turn quicker than the, the Yak-3 does. He's, uh... Okay. He's... He's burning out. Oh, yes. Burn, my pretty. Don't you dare try and stun my kill. Let's try his, no, he doesn't. That's mine. Ruby claims that kill. Oh, they're all over here, Locke. If the P to A26 is coming towards me, then we're gonna we're definitely gonna go and give him some uh, some of our love. Oh, he's taking out that other zero though. These guys are all up high now, as well. We can't catch this guy in terms of speed at all, but... 
Yeah, the, the K4s looks like he's... Doesn't want to know. Oh, he's turning in. Okay. Oh, well done. Oh, and he's got the tier 154 in the process. Not so well done. Well, I guess we're going over this way where the, the clusterfuck is happening. I'll be right back. Ooh, somebody else has just been shot down. Oh, they're, actually, they're all actually quite low now. Come on. Let's go, Zero. You can see that it's it's not particularly fast in a straight line, the Zero. I mean, I'm pretty much... I'm dead level here. I'm already doing 500 kilometers an hour with the wear. It's, it's good enough, but it's it's not competitive compared to the other aircraft at the same battle rating. Oh, we can... Ah, oh, there's so much good stuff we can kill here. Where's the rest of our team now? They're looking pretty behind. I wanna... I really need to one on them. I need to... Here we go, here we go. Back, come back up again. That Corsair saw nothing. Alright, can we force these guys to also turn? Oh, the BF 109 is coming down on. Hope that'll keep his attention elsewhere for a minute. He's, he's going straight for me, isn't he? Yeah, here we go. No, he's not. This, this plane is unbelievably good. Just unbelievably good. Yeah, that's what Twenty rounds, counting rounds left. Do you see how absolutely devastating it was then when they started turn fighting with the zero? I can't see the P forty seven now. There he is. Ah, he's got the. I might have to go and land here. I've only got twenty rounds of cannon ammo left. Oh shit, he's coming right for me. Nope. Dodge that. I've, I've got enough rounds. I've got enough. I've got the, the machine gun rounds as well. And we've still got six minutes of fuel. Where's the rest of my team? There's somebody coming in on me. I can hear him. I can't see him, but I can hear him. There he is. Forty seven coming in on me. Oh, these guns are so weak. Oh, 
wonder where the rest of my team is. Even in the Spitfire, the Spitfire I try not to end this. Just need a lucky fire. Uh oh, there's shots from behind. The P47 can't. There we go. We got him. We got him. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Is he still flying? The, sp the Spitfire is still flying, guys. I've got, I've got to put him down. I've got three minutes of fucking fuel, guys. Oh my god. I need to put the Spitfire down. And then I need to RTB. Oh, he's, he's, he's stalling out. There we go. I think, I think I've, I've got no choice. I'm going to have to fucking fight with him. Nah, I'm breaking off. I'm going to go back for fuel. Oh my Jesus Christ, guys. Six kills. Six fucking kills. That was mental. And there's still two of them left. Oh no, there's a Spitfire over the our spawn. Oh, that's really not good. I don't have the rounds left to, to take all the fuel to take anyone on. Forty of fuel. On oh, this is such so precarious. I, I can't really help him. We need to go land. You know, down to fifty percent fuel. Shit. Oh no, he's fucking got him as well. Uh oh. Great. Here comes Wonga then. Uh, 1 minute 20. Guess we're gonna have at it then. We're not dying today. Yeah, he wants to fucking turn and fight with me. Okay then, guess we're gonna fucking do this then. Five seconds of fuel. Ah, <laughs> move one! Oh my Jesus Christ! And I killed him right at the end of the game. <laughs> I'm taking that as seven kills. Oh my God, my heart is still racing after that last game. Oh, I need to have a breather for five minutes. With this, we got to carry a takeoff for this one. Uh, we are on Saipan for this game, just versus. Uh, the Americans. I had to showcase everything which is incredible about the Mitsubishi Zero. If you get make people to dogfight with you, to turn fight with you, uh, in those sorts of situations, it is in a devastating fighter aircraft, which is why this is one of the best fighter aircraft, I think, 
that have ever been made. And the reason why the Japanese ran rampant with uh, this aircraft in the early uh, Pacific War. Pilots just don't know how to take on uh, the Zero. We get punished by it so severely. It, it's so fun to play. It is a really a great aircraft. If you're going down the, the Japanese, definitely get the Zeros. But you probably would anyway. But so, so good. Let's see if we can get the same this game. Yeah, there's two guys down low down here. We might go and pay them a visit. I think this is a fighter though. We might go over to these guys first. Oh, it's a P61. Let, let's scratch that. There's two guys down low over here we can take on. Oh, okay, never mind. Right, here's the P-51s. Just gotta watch out for this one up high. the early version of the, the P-51. Oh. oh, lost control. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, he's, he's going down. I've shot off his tail. Uh, let's help out this um, KR-91. Uh -oh. mm, wasted some rounds there, but we got him. And come back in. Okay, P 51's bailing out of it, it seems like, but we've got quite a bit of speed here. I might better force him to turn. Oh, yes, we definitely have some speed on him. Oh, you're fucked now, P 51. The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess. But he's pretty sure you're fucked. <laughs> I love this plane. I love this plane so much. <laughs> B-25 down low. Kind of a more suitable altitude for to take him on. So we'll head over in his general direction. We've got a friendly with us, we've got another zero with us. He's turning away. Yeah, he's been chased by the oh no he's not. I thought he's been chased by the B seventy two, but it looks like he's doing his own thing at the moment. I really want to take him on from the, either the side or the underneath, but we're not going to be able to get underneath him with this altitude. Let's whack again. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to intercept him. Engine's damaged, might as well finish him off now. Okay, okay. I mean, I might be able to make it across to A. Okay, he's down. Oh, is my engine gonna survive? Getting over to A though. Probably not. Ah, 
Ow. Where did that even come from? Don't know how much longer the engine's gonna last. Oh, they're capping A now, no. Oh, uh, Ruby's fucked here. Well, I guess we're gonna have to try and go to, uh, to B. But I, I very much doubt I'm gonna make it that far. guys, you can take them out. So there's only three of them left. We've very much definitely won this game, I think. Uh, okay, P61's down. Come on, I just need that P51 down as well. Uh-oh, engine's starting to uh, overheat now. This is not this is not good. P51's 50, 50, crashed. Oh, still got quite a distance to go. Yeah, the engine's starting to overheat now because of the oil's overheating. Oh, it's a really long runway. I can I can see the end of it over here. It's whether I can get over there in time before the engine dies. This is the big question. Oh, 281 kilometers an hour. Oh, we're so close now. Oh, the engine's definitely about to die, I think. Definitely about to die. I don't know whether to just whip it until it, it goes and try and glide it in. I might be able to make it. I'm, I think I can make it. Right, I'm, I'm gonna whip it. Oh yeah, it's about to die any second now. I need, I need altitude at this point. Oh my god, I think I can make it. I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough speed. Yeah, I am. Oh my god. Uh, actually, just a little bit more speed. I'm a little bit slower than what I thought. Go down. I'm not going to bother with the flaps. Oh my god. I really didn't think I was going to make that. Oh, no, that's... Oh. Okay, wait. Let's try that again. Let's not destroy the gear. I forgot this thing really has a very low landing speed. Oh, my days. We lived! I'm pretty sure the end is just about to die. Yeah. Wow. What an aircraft this is. You can see why the Zero is such an amazing fighter aircraft. Uh, we absolutely tore apart those other teams today just by using our uh, superior uh, maneuverability to just be able to outperform uh, the enemies at lower speed. And people just, I still don't feel people know how to take on the Zero. Even in a Spitfire, people are trying to turn a fight with it, and you can't do it. You can't outturn a Zero. You have to outrun them come back in and get the jump on them if you try and turn fight with a zero you are going to lose that is all i'm going to say on the matter uh, this is dead these are definitely the pinnacle i think of the the japanese tree for me the zeros uh, they're so great to play um some of the other fighters are definitely heavier than zero they don't turn as well um i find the the japanese 20 mils aren't as good as some of the other nations uh, they're still really capable the j the j2m3 is a pretty fun to play and the Kaya 61s have a uh, lots of uh, 20 mils as well but for me it's definitely the zeros which are the highlight of the japanese tree they're absolutely incredible aircraft i cannot recommend them enough if you are in uh, going down the japanese uh, line anyway i hope you've all enjoyed uh, today's video on the mitsubishi zero i adore this plane and i'm really glad i recorded uh, those games today uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of uh, the mitsubishi Bishi Zero. Uh, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one sometime soon. Bye!